uh, what I have to do now is I have to separate those different pigments from each others and resuspend them in acetone. So this is a chlorophyll A. I'm putting them in beakers. Each of those beakers contains 5 ml acetone. So I am re-dissolving those pigments inside the acetone again. And in the next part of this experiment, uh, we are going to measure the absorbance of light, of different wavelength of light, of those pigments. Uh, the purpose of the second part of this experiment is to see which wavelength is absorbed the most and which wavelength of the visible spectrum of light uh, is more necessary for photosynthesis. We will try with all the colors of the visible spectrum of light to see which color will be more absorbed by which pigment. So which pigment is the most important for photosynthesis and which wavelengths are the most absorbed during photosynthesis. I have in my beakers in order, chlorophyll B, chlorophyll A, uh, xanthophyll and carotene. I'll show you the example of one of them. So the way we do it is we mix those papers nicely with the acetone until I see that all my papers becomes totally white. This is the carotene, uh, this is the xanthophyll, this is the chlorophyll A, and this is the chlorophyll B. Probably I can start with the chlorophyll A. Uh, for this measurement, I need a, a cuvette of acetone as a blank. Why acetone? Because I have dissolved the color in acetone. So this cuvette, I'm gonna use it as a blank and I'm gonna measure the absorbance of light of chlorophyll A at different wavelengths. So this cuvette contains acetone only. I'm gonna calibrate my spectrophotometer. And I have put in this cuvette a chlorophyll A. I will take the measurements of chlorophyll A. At 400 nanometer, the absorbance is 0.11. I reinsert the acetone, change the wavelength. 420 is the next reading. Calibrate my spectrophotometer. And then this is chlorophyll B again. Second reading is 0 0.127. I continue the same process. So I reinsert the blank, which is the acetone. I set the wavelength 440 this time. And then I zero the spectrophotometer. And then I read the absorbance 0.145. We have to keep on doing this until we reach 720. And